Okay, so I just wanted to share. Sam and I, he helped me with most of the beds. We just basically got all the roots out and we're decorating them. Um, so it's still kind of messy. I don't have things 100% where they're going to go. But this is what I've been up to the last couple days. This came down. Raspberries are going to stay. So he's going to build me a new cattle one to go over this. And this one is yellow and blue for Andrew. So yeah. And then again, I literally took everything out. My back is killing me. So that's herbs at this point. But I think the herbs are going to be transplanted. I'll show you where. And that will be Elizabeth's flower bed. So this one is all done. Charlie is hanging out with me. He never is far from me. We actually are working on this too. You guys, this is kind of a mess. But um, so there's where the herbs will go. And I have another six to make another one of those for potatoes. But that is brick from our fireplace when we built our home. Our builder screwed it up and I didn't want to throw it away. So I don't know. We'll see if it stays or not. But I don't I don't like throwing just throwing stuff away. I try we my husband and I, him more than me, tries to repurpose things. So I've got a frog over there and then a pelican here. My husband built the shed where this will go in. Um, so he just did that and the blossoms are not blossoming, but we'll see if I update this vlog, if there'll be, um, blossoms soon, but this is why I love my garden. This is where I spend a lot of my time. So when I'm not responding to the world, there's a reason because I'm out here enjoying the world. Charlie, Charlie. Hi, hi honey. So this is my little slice of heaven and, uh, yeah, this is what I'm working on today. All right, here's what else we did. My sister makes these and she brings them to the cancer center. So I made this one, this one, the bee, obviously the beach theme. And I did that outdoors one uh, with the tent. So my daughter did this one with the mushroom. Samuel did the emoji, the donut, and the shark. So we did this today earlier as well. Super fun activity to do with the kids. And I just sprayed it with, um, come on, focus on this. I don't know if this is the right stuff, but this is what I sprayed, so. They're tearing the barn down. Literally makes me so sad. I would've bought that barn in a second. They're actively knocking it down. Henry! Ah! Henry! Hi! Hi! <laughs> you know what personal space is? <laughs> no. You don't know what it is, do you? No, you're just a big lovely, aren't ya? Two thousand years later. So, working on this, I've got nothing in here yet tomatoes and onions and then those will be herbs in this tier thing then again those are onions between but tomatoes obviously primarily and this one is only tomatoes because I want to see how it does with onions versus not that will be my daughter's flower bed so I have to move those herbs out my husband is working on he had to go get my daughter but he's working on caging the raspberries so they don't come over to poke me. I planted a row of potatoes so far. Cucumbers are going to go here and trellis over to this. We're getting a new big trellis. On this side, I'm not sure what I'm, I might do potatoes with the cukes. This will all be kale, lettuce, and then here is, back there is the peppers and hot peppers and green peppers. The middle is going to be carrots and then radishes so that's that I'm again working on getting this all I need to get it planted because I'm leaving for Texas so I'll probably post this video at some point just kind of my vlog here but and the barn is gone if you guys didn't see my other post um, it was the roof was pretty bad and I'm assuming they had someone come and pay them to take it down 
super sad. I just, uh, yeah. So this is what I'm working on going to plant. And then Charlie's right here. There's my stuff I need to hang and get rid of. So there we go. Oh, welcome to a garden update. Charlie, say hi. Hi. Okay, so over here I have melons, zucchini, and then those are my green peppers. And I'm working on finishing the garden and um, weeding the garden. So lettuce, and I put marigolds to help with bunnies. So radishes are started here. This theme, so that theme is beachy. Obviously each one of the bins kind of has, or uh, raised beds has kind of a theme. So this one is for Andrew, it's yellow and blues. Um, because of Down syndrome. If you didn't know he had Down syndrome, my son that passed away. And then kale, we love this for salads and the chickens adore it. So today I planted peas, green beans, corn, because you can do companion gardening. And I wanna see how that vines up with the corn. This is my first time, time trying corn in a bed. So we'll see. And then I did use this miracle Grow. I'll show you what it is. I sprinkle that over every time I plant something new. My cucumbers, the divas, are really divas. They are not doing well, so my husband is gonna go buy some of the other ones because we bought in probably several packs of the diva and they just keep looking pretty bad. But the pickling and the other ones are doing great. And this is my cattle um, arch that my husband built when I was in Texas that I asked him for. This is what I wanted last year. So I got this, so hopefully my dream is that when I walk through this, it'll be covered in greens. My husband worked on while I was in Texas adding me another bed and then he got his um, raspberries contained because they were really coming into this space where I um, when I sit down I weed and that can't be there this is potatoes first time doing potatoes super excited about those coming up so tomatoes we're doing an experiment in when we went to the greenhouse we always go to the greenhouse um, so we always so we generally do the four packs for cheaper, right? The four packs are like four bucks. So, but the lady said we'll have less issues if we buy the bigger plants. So these are $4 a piece. So we're, they're all celebrities. My neighbor is mowing, um, sorry about that. So I wanna see in the same bed how they do if it's true. So I am no experience with this, but they really said that. Again, I need to put some of that special grow around those because my husband planted those while I was in Texas. This is supposed to be my daughter's flower bed. Now she's not down here. If she doesn't get down here today or this weekend, I am going to end up taking this space and putting corn in this or something else. I have chives back there, so those stay. That's why it's kind of crazy back there. There was chives right here, but if they don't come back up, I will whack that down for her. I'm working on weeding, like I said, so maybe I'll show you after I'm done today. We have graduation parties to go to today, so I'm gonna try to get this done by the end of Saturday. Okay, so tomatoes, again, we have some full size in here with some smaller ones because I wanna do an experiment to see if the fuller size tomato plants really do better. Here again, we're doing the same thing. Um, and then I wanted to try um, kohlrabi, kohlrabi, so we did, try that that's a new thing for the garden and then I have some spinach in, in between onions in between these two beds red onions in here um, all right and then again we have the kohlrabi kohlrabi I don't know how to say that and then the smaller tomato plants because I want to see how they do and then my carrots today are going to end up going here so this was a new addition this bed as well so I have one two three four five six seven eight beds and then that half bed for flowers. Yes, the barn is gone. If you've been watching my updates, they tore it down. So that view is forever changed, which is really sad. And there's Charlie. And then I have just a mixture of things in my little tower here. Some herbs, basically, or in this one. And you guys, I did a bunch of rocks. Look at this one. This is a basil bee. How stinking cute is that? I'm gonna do more of those. Um, and again, this is a work in progress, but my husband built me this while I was in Texas. So Charlie has a chair with a bed and his water. And then there is my, like these are ones like $20 from Menards. This is a couple, what, $150 chair um, from, I ordered that from Amazon. So again, this is a work in progress. And then this is gonna go up there today. My husband brought dirt down for me. I'm gonna put strawberries in there. And my strawberry raised bed is still up here. Eventually that will come down and sit here, I believe. But I didn't want my husband moving it because if we move it, we'll lose like the tomatoes or 
The strawberries won't bear because they're June bearing. So we're gonna leave it there once they give us fruit, then we'll move the bed here. So there is my update, you guys. Plus I got this fancy hose. Um, yep, I love it. It doesn't get kinked, so. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of new flags. There's my husband working. My son graduated yesterday, and so they're working on organizing up, stuff up the hill and bringing it down to the burn pile. We have a big burn pile over there. So this is country life and gardening. Oh, and that's my new shed I got this year too. So love, loving this. down and basically just going to cover them and then water them and that's it. Um, I love, love radishes. So for me, this is a huge must have in my garden. So, all right, I'm just going to plant away. Here comes my husband again. Oh, he's sending me a heart. Oh, yes, I love you.
carrots are in this bed, number one. And then I'm just watering. I weeded all the beds now and working on figuring out a few final details of what's going on here. Hang on. So, it's been raining, so I'm not going to overdo it. I'm letting some aspirin melt in there, and I'm going to put that on my tomatoes to help against disease. Added some new lights to the beds. I didn't, I've been down here all day. It's about five o'clock. So I, I did take a break for about an hour. We had company and um, here comes my husband and son to help pick up a few things that I brought down that I need to go up. So. Just that stuff so I can carry him up. And then I'm done. I just want to water and that, cause it was pretty dry. What? Well, garbage and then my bag goes in the garage for now. What? Okay, my daughter still didn't come down with the flowers there. So here I just, this was pretty much weeded, but I did add some support to them. And then I need to come and prune them, but I, I like to do one thing at a time. My kids are texting me. It's like, just come down to the garden, seriously. Not like it's that far. I don't ever water my raspberries and look at them. I don't ever, look at my potatoes. I think I already showed you those. I didn't really have to do much weeding. And I'm trying to be careful not to, because you can see some of them are coming up right there. So I have to be careful not to weed those. But I did white and then red potatoes. So I'm just, this is the first time I've ever done potatoes. So if you have any tips. Um, so we'll see how they do. But man, they're looking great now. Super easy to take care of. Um, and here's my cucumbers my husband didn't get to the greenhouse today we've had a lot going on uh so now we're gonna go to grad party next door um they built their house a couple years after we did so okay i think i already did those water these i'll give them a quick i think i already did all these pretty sure i did everything so i got onions corn peas beans all planted there i got my uh, here, my radishes are here. My, my carrots are planted. So my garden is officially taken care of. So everything is good. So yeah. My husband, I don't know what he's doing with that dumb thing. He needs to get that out of here. And then we had the blanket so Charlie could hide. Because there's Charlie. Okay. That's this week's update. So there you go. There is the garden. And it's looking good. And I do like my chairs, but I need to take the blanket away. We're just trying to shade Charlie for now. And he brought down that chair. I don't know what the heck to do with that. And then that was from the dirt. I did plant strawberries in there. That one I plan on adding strawberries to. And then those are some herbs. If my daughter doesn't come down tomorrow and plant flowers, I will plant flowers myself. Or I will add some more potatoes to that because we eat a lot of potatoes. So there you go. I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day.